Hey guys, welcome back to the Moxie Ram. It's day nine of Stitchmas. So we're gonna be opening up that bad boy. I have some updates on that deer that I was making and I am pretty much done with my aunt's beanie that I was making her with the minions buttons. So we're gonna go through all of that today. I, oh, an update on my yarn swift back there. I did take one of the hanks that I got from one of the yarn festivals and I made this, which I think looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm trying to get this one, one string out of the way. There we go. So the colors on this already looked really nice. And now that it's rolled up into this nice cake, oh my gosh, just the crossing of the different colors, the way it looks. I think it's beautiful and I look forward to winding the rest of my hanks that I have up there. But just in case you want a reminder on what this is, this one um, is a superwash fine merino hand dyed fingering weight. It is 380 yards or for 4 ounces. And I think this is one of the ones that I had a hard time figuring out who the seller was. But on here it says scandinavianweaveandknit.com. So that's one. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. At least seventeen. No, because then I have two other new ones in a bag somewhere. About like twenty. Twenty hanks to still wind. And ah, oh, it was so nice using the yarn swift compared to when I had it laid out on my table or wrapped around my chair. That was so difficult. This was just put it on there, wind it up, and you're good to go. Anyway, let's get down to business. So first things first, let's open up day nine. Alright. We're getting there. We are getting there. D9 is right here. After that, we only have three more to go. Isn't that sad? It's exciting, but sad at the same time, just knowing that it's almost over. Alrighty, let's get this out of the way. And let's open up nine. No idea what this is. Very thin. There's definitely, definitely no yarn in here. Let's grab the scissors. Pop it open. Gonna snip, snip. Mm -hmm. All right. We have more wood. Ooh. Okay. You can't really see much, but it is, there's a thin piece of wood in there. But it's not just wood. It is a gauge swatch or gauge roller, gauge roller for you to measure your gauge swatches. So I have been wanting a ruler for my gauges for the longest time. I don't normally follow the gauges to be honest, um, which kind of harms my projects when it's garments. Occasionally I have made stuff that is a little too small or I'd rather it be a little too big, because a little baggy could wear something baggy, but I have made stuff that ended up being a little too small. But gauges, people. Gauges are important. But this one's really pretty. Let's take it out of the bag so it doesn't have that shine that might mess up Ooh. how you guys see this. It also has like the measuring tool on the side to see the size of your hooks or your needles, which is nice too. Although all the ones I have have numbers on them. But you can see it's got a really pretty deer. It's really nice colors. I really like it. It's cute. And then you have your hook sizes, I'm assuming. Let's see. So you're going to put this is... So this one's a 5.5 and it fits just in the 5.5 hole and I'm assuming these are the um, for knitting needles these ones and then the holes are for crochet hooks let's try another one this is a 6 we're gonna go straight for the 6 
and it just fits. Yep. Cool. So this is useful. I can check this off my tools list. And there's something else in here. Oh, it's a keychain. That's cute. A little sweater keychain. And it says, follow me to Hobby Lobby. Isn't that cute? And it's kind of raised. The letters are raised. It has some textures. Throw this on one of my craft bags or something. What's in my purse? I'd put this on my purse. Follow me to Hobby Lobby. Why not? Alright, so that's day nine of Stitchmas. Then I'll give you guys an update on the deer. So the deer still has no building process. Or not building progress to it yet. Because I had run out of the sparkling white yarn. So I got the head done, I got the body done, but it has no feet and no tail. I did get to finish the ears, but no limbs. So I went to Hobby Lobby and fortunately they did restock the glittery white yarn. So I picked up a skein of that so I can get back to working on the deer. I did give up on finding gold or silver yarn because just with shipping and handling and the time and I guess because of the holidays too, it's very, in very short supply, very hard to find. So I'm going to settle for something from my giant stash. I did find these in my stash. So these I bought quite a while ago. It was during, I think, Hobby Lobby's like summer clearance or something like that, which I just found out about this year. I didn't know this was a yearly thing where they take a bunch of their yarn and they put it super cheap. So for example, these are Yarn Bee's Lush Loft. I got them in three different colorways. I have mustard, sand, and blush. So it's a medium weight, worsted yarn. It's 100% nylon, and it has a fuzz to it. So as you can see, it's got that slight fuzziness. It's really soft. It is not, no, it's not stretchy, but it's soft and squishy. And it comes with 142 yards. They're originally $5.49. I got it for $1.37 because they were all on clearance. So I had grabbed whatever they had left pretty much from their shelves. So my thought was, instead of doing, as the picture shows, it has gold antlers. Um, no, it has silver antlers, silver nose. And then it has a gold and silver striped scarf. So I thought either I was going to do this soft brown or a sand color as the antlers next to the white. I think it's different enough where you'll be able to tell the color difference. And it's kind of got that fuzz, you know, like deer antlers have that fuzz on them. Or I have this yellow, which I wasn't sure about yellow antlers. Because I want the antlers to match on the, I mean, not the antlers, the color of the antlers to match the scarf as well. And then I have pink. I don't think I want it. Although that would be really cute if I had pink antlers. Hmm. I'm leaning more towards doing the pink and tan color. So I don't have a pink and tan color striped scarf, a uh, pink nose, and then either brown or pink antlers. I don't know. What do you guys think? Brown or pink antlers? I'll have to see. Once I have it more together, Maybe it'll, I'll be able to pick. Maybe pink antlers. It'll be like a little baby girl deer. Huh, but we'll see. So that crisis is averted. I have my yarns picked out for that project. And then I also wanted to show you guys my ant's beanie. So I still have to cut the string off, but I did complete it late last night while I was binge watching some episodes of Wednesday on Netflix, which is a pretty good show. I recommend if you're into like Tim Burton-esque shows or movies. But this is her beanie. So I really like how this one came out. It is nice, soft, stretchy, cozy, not itchy at all. It has that nice fuzz look to it. It has that little bit of wiggle room on the top, which I've decided I really like because then when it's cold and you really wanna push it down on your head or it's a windy day covers a lot of you you don't have to worry about your ears poking out or getting cold or you can push it up higher have your earrings on display and then kind of just like fold the top over and wear it like that 
And then, like I said, hers are going to have the minion buttons on it. So these bad boys are going to go somewhere, somewhere on the side like that. I think that's cute. I hope she likes it. So that's that beanie. And I still need to make my daughter's beanies. I don't know if I showed you guys the yarn that I chose for those. So for my daughter, I got three different buttons because I have to make her a bajillion. Because it's fun and she enjoys it. And that makes me happy. Okay, so for my daughter, I got the three buttons. So we have Moana. Which she's been into a lot. Although she's kind of passing the Moana phase a bit, to be honest. But she was into it over the summer and for her birthday. So for Moana, I got this one. Kind of has those orangey tones, the tan. I thought that would match pretty well. And this is the same yarn that I made my aunt's hat out of. So it's going to have that nice fuzziness to it. So Moana's going with this one. And this one is a Karen Latte cake in the colorway red. Macaron? Macaron? Macaron. It doesn't say macaroon, it's one O. And then recently, she just joined the Frozen bandwagon. So I got her Elsa, of course. She's got this button, it's nice and big. And I saw these or, um, skeins of yarn, which is perfect. It has all different types of shades of blue. And this is the Lion Brand Ice Cream in the colorway blueberry. So this will be her Elsa hat. And then to go along with Elsa, you gotta have Anna. This is her Anna button. She's cute, she's trudging along. And for Anna, I got another ice cream skein, which also turned out to be perfect. It has the blues of her shirt, her skirt, and it has the purples of her um, like cloak that she wears. I thought that was very Anna looking skein of yarn. So like I said, it's another Lion Brand ice cream in the colorway Moon Mist. Both of these I got at Joann's. Yeah, both of these were at Joann's and I think when I got it, it was buy one get one half off, I want to say. And, um, and the latte cakes are at Michael's. Um, other than that, I think that's it. I might include a very short clip of me winding that hank that I showed you guys. I didn't get to record much. I, I did it really late last night. Um, and I really just recorded just because, just in case I wanted to use it. And I guess I will include it at the end of this video. But, as always, thanks for watching my videos, thanks for subscribing, make sure you click that bell icon so you're notified when I post new videos, and I will see you guys tomorrow.